Oh, uh, man, there's so many goodies. Frag grenade and... Suppressor, that's gotta be good. No! No! No, don't throw that grenade! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoops! What's up, guys? I'm Vortac. Joining me once again in Stranded Derps is Mojo. Oh, hi! Hey! You didn't say derp. Derp! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, today I'm teaching Mojo how to farm. Woo! I'm and, a farmer! And we're going to finish our base at any cost. At any cost. Yes. So we have these planters here, and we have only one lettuce growing, and it's taking forever. I'm so, going to learn to farm. So, Mojo has a farmer character. Which means agriculture is like half price for her. So is she's, that what that means? Yeah. So she's at level five agriculture right now. Yes. With only 80 points of experience to spend, she got to level five. So I am only got to level three with like about the same amount, I think. So that's awesome. Um, what, what I'm going to teach her right now is how to use fertilizer. Now, there's two things you need to know about fertilizer. Okay. One, you can make these planters with it. One fertilizer equals one planter. Oh. We need seven planters to make like a farm plot, and we'll eventually get there, but we're not near there yet. Okay. So the more fertilizer you waste on this, what we're about to do, the less planters we can have. But rope is pretty easy-ish to come by. Great. So I want you to take that fertilizer and right-click that lettuce. Right-click the lettuce. Nothing happened. Or left-click. Or wait. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> Something happened. So when you, because you have level 5 har uh, farming, when you harvest that, you're going to get more than one lettuce back. How many did you get? Double lettuce. Okay, so craft both of those into seeds. Okay. And do it again. Oh, I, I don't know how. Oh, you have to write just like if you make a uh, rag, you can cr like use the. There you go. Why are the seeds brown? I don't. I don't know. Okay, so just slam them in here. Yep. Wherever you want. Okay. There you go. They're and planted. Hooray! And notice how they're already at eighteen percent. Should I fertilize? Yes. We're, we need to, like, get a bunch of lettuce growing. We may die. I, I would say I'd rather die of starvation right now than later on. True. So, go ahead and harvest those. How many did you get? Three. Ah. Four. Four. Yay. Four. So, I would plant all those. Oops. <laughs> or drop them on the ground. I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I'm doing! I don't know what to do! You're a far You chose farmer. <laughs> this is the life you chose. I'm sorry! I have regrets in life. <laughs> I wanted to be a lumberjack. A lumberjack would be nice, but you don't really need that unless you're in the Yukon. What's it do? Uh, it keeps you from getting cold. Well, it, the warm blooded becomes cheaper. Oh. I hope I got two walls out of that. Let's see. I'm a farmer. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just go popping up walls where I'm standing. Unfortunately, with these uh, planters here, I can't put a wall up, but that's that's okay. We'll put that up later. Just think of it as a giant window. Yeah. Sure. It's nice <laughs> if you think about it like that. Um. Anyway, so we have a couple of extra foundations. Yeah. Um. I'm voting a two-car garage. <gasps> you must have plans. Yes. It's going to be two uh, two by two area sitting next to the house out here. Okay. Oh, crap. It's going to be hard to... It's going to dig itself into the snow. That's fine, right? I don't like that. You don't? No. Let's try it over here. This will be cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, so I should probably go claim a bed. Oh, yeah. Claim your bed. Did I'm gonna... you claim your bed? Is it? Yeah, it's uh, claimed. Yes, it is. I took your platform. You what? <laughs> there we go. So we just need two more of those, and we'll have our garage space right right here. Okay. We can fit two cars in there, and uh, we can put an entrance in the house and outside the house, and it'll look cool. It'll look like a little oh, house. It's going to be so good. I know. Yeah. I'm so excited. I've never had a house before. <laughs> well, we did have that beach house for like a hot minute. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to start chopping down more trees then. Should I assist or just look at you? Well, some help would be nice. Okay, even though I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not a lumberjack after all. You I wanted to be a lumberjack. Fine. Well, you're, you're experiencing your dream right here, right now. <laughs> this is more of a hobby, really. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we gathered a whole bunch more stuff. We got so much stuff, guys. All the stuff. I'm going to put down some pillars. Okay. And I will set up our garage area. Yes. And uh, I don't know. I just made some extra windows and walls. I don't know what you got over there. It'd be cool if you referred to it as an ambulance bay. An ambulance bay? Yes, it's an ambulance bay. <laughs> I, I suppose. Oh, I need one more pillar. Dang it. Dang it. All right, a couple of walls here. How much wood does it take to make a pillar? A pillar? Yeah. That is, I believe, two logs or three logs. I, I don't have know. two logs. I have one log. Craft. Yeah. Pine oh, post? I have. Pine pillar. Pillar. I have not uh, Never mind. I have one. Oh. Sorry. Did you but craft it? No, I just wanted to help. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, well. Oh, well. So um, should I just take all these walls and start making walls happen? Yeah, I was thinking where the ambulances we could put the front door. I don't know which the the which one you want it in, uh, the left or the right. But either way, the ambulance is blocking it. Oh. But wherever you think windows would look nice, I thought it would look cool to have one right here. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm knee deep in a crate trying to get walls. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I thought it would be cool to have a window right here. I'm, I'm in it. Oh. <laughs> I like it. I like more windows over here so you can see all the things. Yeah. So we need a couple more. Uh, we could put one, like, right across from it right here. Well, I don't have windows. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just leave those blank then. I'm doing the walls. <laughs> um, I got some windows. I'll just place these around, I suppose. Yes, you will. Where is it? No, I was putting a window there. Oh, oh, so many breakdown, breakdowns in communication. <laughs> um, so which one do you want the front door on? I don't know. Out of those two spots. Where the ambulance is? Yeah. Put it, put it near the steering wheel. Okay, so here could be a window then. Okay. Cool. I would say... Is this a wall? Yeah. That's the garage. So, yes? Yeah. There we go. I'm okay with putting a window where the farm is. Okay. But I'm also okay good. with doing something like this where we have uh, two windows like right here. Like that. Why did I build any walls? Oh, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm starving to death. Oh, boy. I'm going to go How's our get in a situation? fetal position Probably somewhere. Not good. not good. Oh, God. You, you claimed your bed, right? Uh, where is it? It's it's over here. Where? Where, the, where I'm chopping this tree. No. Oh my god. I hope you claimed that bed. Not as much as I hope. <laughs> First death in our home. Nice going, Mojo. <laughs> I can't believe I only got one log out of that. Wow. That's ridiculous. You're not a good lumberjack. These trees suck. Are you sure you only got one log? Because I'm staring at two logs. Are you? In our house. Are you staring at sticks or logs? Logs. There's also sticks, if you're interested. <sighs> well, I didn't see them. Uh, well, I'll just go get them. There's two right here. Pick up, pick up. Maybe we get different <laughs> drops. I don't know. I doubt it. I think you're just not detail-oriented. I'm just not very patient, I guess. I guess so. So a couple more walls. I can only afford one walls. Ugh. Here. Oh wait, I had two. Okay, put that there. Then. What am I doing? There's a wall on the floor. I wanted to make a window. That's what I wanted to do. Fine, I'll just take it. Just well, take my wall and go. There. Now we can put a doorway. Put one right here for the garage. Coming together. We just need to move this uh, ambulance. No, leave it alone. We gotta put stuff in there. No one moves it but me. But you... I thought we had a car jack, but we don't. Dang it. Oh, is it stuck? Well, it's out of gas. It's completely out of gas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what button? Uh, that's control and click. Nice. Out of the way, sir. This is an emergency. <laughs> this is an emergency scenario. 
<laughs> emergency scenario. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, okay. So we have some of the house built. I have another wall. Is there going to be a ceiling? Yes. Promise? Yes. Is there going to be a hot tub? A hot tub? Yeah. I don't know about a hot tub. Ah. Ooh, there's a tree. So what I would like to do is put in the doorway, and we'll just have to get a roof on it at some point. Raise the roof. And, uh, I mean, our base is pretty much coming along. I'd like us to, like, go on an adventure, though. I've been building, like, forever. I know. I can only build so long. Why don't we, uh, I don't know. What, what would you want to do if we were to go on an adventure? I kind of want to go hunting for Christmas trees. I do, too, actually. What? That would be really, yeah, that would be nice to find more Christmas trees. Yeah. Just don't take all my presents. I'm going to take all the presents. You can't. I'm doing uh, it. Vortac, don't. It's happening. You already ran my ambulance out of gas. <laughs> it had it coming. <laughs> okay, well, how about this? I'm going to put some stuff away. Okay. And uh, I think we should both go searching for Christmas trees separately, and that way we can't steal presents in front of each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Can you make another crate? Um, I guess I have enough to make another crate. Yes. Let's see. Let me give me these sticks. Let me see. I think. Yeah, definitely. Right. Sure. Oh, I need one more plank. Oh How man. Many plank. <sighs> Not like this. Wait, like this. there's one in here. Thank goodness. I don't know what this is, so I'm just gonna put it in the crate for safekeeping. Okay. It's I got... a bipod. Oh, bipods are cool. Okay. So there we go. I have another crate over here, and uh, I think we should split off and go Christmas tree hunting. Alright. So if you guys want to see Mojo's perspective... And you do. You know you do. You definitely do. Check out her channel. It link, it's linked on this uh, episode and every other episode, as is mine. And you can see the things we get up to. But for now, uh, this is the last time I'll be seeing you in this episode. Ever. Yeah, so, <laughs> bye. Rude! <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Why? <laughs> because it's a rude thing to do. I hope you're not going the way I was going to go because I can't with you. I'm, I'm going to go this way. Well, I'm not. Good. I'm going to go another way. I'm going to explore Moscow, too. I'm going to have all kinds of fun. So I think for me, the best thing I can do to go off on my own and find a Christmas tree is to go right back to where I know for sure one is. And indeed, it has already respawned. I figured it would, even though we chopped it down in an anti-Christmas perverted ritual. But nonetheless, it's here, and I don't know if Vortec will think to come back and get this one. High Caliber Ranger Ammunition Box. Bipod. I already have one of those. Muzzle? Oh, man, there's so many goodies. Frag Grenade and... Suppressor, that's gotta be good. No! No! No, don't throw the grenade! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> that's one way to open a present, guys. Anyway. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, ammo, <laughs> scope, laser, great. <laughs> I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb right now. <laughs> Uh, so in order to protect myself from myself, I think kind of the best thing that I can think of to do would it be to just stay in the tree line here and just make a full circle all the way around Moscow just to make sure that there are no other Christmas trees because this is a pretty big city, particularly compared to all the other locations on the map. And if there was anywhere they were going to put an extra Christmas tree, I would say it would have to be here. So I'm going to look all around the edges for it. And if it's there, I'll find it. 
And I will blow those presents up again. But what kind of concerns me a little bit is that there won't be another one. Like maybe there's one per city. And I have a feeling Vortac will feel more safe venturing out far. I prefer the edges because I don't feel like there's any tree zombies just looming. And I don't trust myself to survive by myself. I don't even trust myself to open presents by myself at this point. But maybe we can find something. And open it safely. Okay, so I didn't find any trees so far, but... I did find, and I'm kind of excited to see it, it's um, a landmark in Moscow. I'm going to just take a chance at maybe sounding like a dirt, but I think that's St. Basil's Cathedral, is that what that's called? You can ridicule me in the comments if so, or if not, rather. Um, but I cannot overcome the curiosity. I mean, this is such a cool landmark. I kind of want to see if I can, like, go inside of it in some way or around it hopefully the zombies won't mind and there's it's not a christmas tree but it's colorful like one so if there's going to be cool stuff inside of it i gotta have it okay careful there's really no zombies in here that's cool there's not a lot of of anything in here i guess Cool little monuments and whatnot. I was hoping there'd at least be a snack, but I guess it's okay that there isn't. And we'll just go right back to the safety of the tree line where no one can get me. And we'll find some presents. Okay, so I've basically completely encircled the city. We're almost back at home sweet home. I don't think there are any more Christmas trees in the direct vicinity of Moscow, so we'll have to venture out further at some point when I feel a little more confident and a little less shaken and see what we can find. But for now, I just want to swing in here real quick and see if I can find some food to eat. Oh, granola, that's good. I think I'm too short to grab the granola. Um, eat the granola. Where'd it go? I have this lettuce. Let's just eat that. Delicious. Cheese. Cheese is good. Uh, so if we can get some food going, I would really like not to raid our farm too much yet, just because I want it completely converted. What's a snowball? I'll take it. Why not? Maybe I can lob it at Vortex's derpy face. Then he'll know who's better at this game. Then he'll know. Okay. Rake. I just don't feel like rakes and hockey sticks are what's going to get me through. Glue might. 100% glue in particular. As you know, I've had to resort to chugging glue before and I have no shame. Chemicals. Very careful not to eat the chemicals this time because apparently that's not a thing you should do. Come on, food. Food. Delicious food. Okay, obviously there's not going to be any food in here today. I can't even have the umbrella. Come on, I want it. Okay, let's start breaking some stuff down. Or at least a thing down. Uh, but oh, okay, hang on. I think, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Take a lot of heat for not knowing how to do this. Look at that. I crafted my very first dressing all by myself. I didn't even need Vortex help. So there. <laughs> so there. And now I can have the umbrella. So go me. And we can take it back home and enjoy it the way Russia intended. Let's get out of here before some zombies show up. Right out the window. <laughs> I love the umbrella so much. It's better than a knife. I don't think you can hit zombies with it, but... I didn't think you could probably open a present with a hand grenade either, so who knows. That's just how Russia goes, I guess. So I think I'm just gonna... Hightail it back up here close to the safety of my almost home and bed. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check the link in the description to watch Vortex's video if you were kind enough to take the time to watch mine first instead of his. I love that kind of thing. I'll see you next time in another thrilling episode of Stranded Derps.